Do they call it celebratory gunfire, but in Ruskin this weekend, the random shooting of weapons into the air may have caused nothing but sorrow for that one family. Celebratory gunfire death of a 16-year-old girl. It's in memory of a boy who was killed on New Year's Eve from celebratory gunfire. The tragedy that you witnessed happens all too often. Think about it. Could you prevent this from happening? Innocent victims are being severely injured and even killed as a result of celebratory gunfire. You can make a difference and save lives by understanding and sharing these dangers with others. What is celebratory gunfire? Celebratory gunfire is the act of shooting a firearm into the air in celebration. It typically occurs during major holidays like the 4th of July and New Year's. I am the neurosurgeon that took care of Diego. The bullet struck Diego on the top of his head, right here on the left side. But the energy of the bullet was so much that the bullet traveled all the way through his brain to the bottom of his head and came out from the bottom of the skull and lodged itself into the right face. Diego was incredibly fortunate. He's one of the few people struck by a bullet that actually survives. If the bullet had been just five or six millimeter further behind, it would have certainly caused his death. Celebratory gunfire occurs much more often than you may think. Shot Spotter is an organization that sheds light on how frequent gunshots occur. During the New Year celebration of 2013, there were 125 multiple gunshot alerts and four single gunshot alerts within 24 hours in Miami, Florida. This sums up to a total of 1,176 rounds fired within 4.5 square miles. There's no way of knowing where those bullets will land. Realize when you're with your friends and you fire that gun up in the air, that bullet doesn't disappear. To prevent this type of tragedy, we have to first understand the power of using such a deadly weapon. Depending on the gun and caliber of bullet, on average, a bullet can travel up to three miles. Firearm experts studied fallen bullets and found 30 caliber rounds reached terminal velocity of 300 feet per second. Larger 50 caliber bullets have a terminal velocity of up to 500 feet per second. It only takes 200 feet per second to penetrate a human skull. These bullets can travel miles away where many people like you and I could be celebrating the holidays. Perhaps watching fireworks with family and friends. I was loading him into the car seat and my husband was behind me and all of a sudden I heard what sounded like the heaviest icicle dropped on the windshield. I literally froze, I couldn't move because I was just staring at the hole in the windshield. And um, my husband started yelling and he was like, it's a bullet, get out of the car. And you know, I didn't want to believe him, but I literally ripped my son out of the car seat and we ran inside. And in my mind, it was just a, a perfect reaction just to get her and the baby to safety. Meet Sandy, founder of Bullet Free Sky. She's also the mother of celebratory gunfire victim, Diego Duran. In the New Year's of 2012, there were fireworks going on, but it was foggy. So we stepped out of the porch, and all of a sudden my son collapsed on the ground. I went to flip him over to have a better view to see what was really going on, and I, all I found was blood everywhere. He was gushing blood from his nose, and um, from his mouth too. So we just, I just yelled, call 911. But then I really realized, not knowing what had happened, that if I didn't get him to go to emergency myself, that he would probably die. He had been struck by a 45 caliber in the head. We saw the x-ray and our, our life changed instantly. From celebration of the new year, celebrating another year of life, to instantly being in the position where we could lose our son's life. We're just standing out here, just about right there, watching the fireworks, and then all of a sudden I just fall down. And they didn't know what, what happened until they flipped me over and 
It felt like that feeling when you hit your funny bone, that tingling, but throughout your whole body. Like, just, like, unconscious, just there. If it could happen here, it could happen anywhere. Unfortunately, many innocent children and adults have been seriously injured as a result of celebratory gunfire. Others have lost their lives. It affects us all, whether we have a gun or not. These bullets come down and, and can kill any, anyone out there.